All right, so here we are. Let's see if we get some light on the subject here. My battery's kind of dead, so we're going to have to bear with me. So this is the uh, third time we're changing this. One, two, three, third time. So you can see that it ends up being about the same amount of mosquitoes each time. It's kind of tough to see. I'll get it in better light. But what I do is uh, before I bring it in, I just take that out and then just give it a, I take the, uh, the compressed air. And uh, let's see, I'm going to spin you around. Get all the dust and stuff out from. I have to pull that out. So, so there it is. Let's see if I can get the light helps with the amount of mosquitoes in the, in the reservoir. Yeah, you can see them in there. Pretty nasty. Pretty nasty stuff. So what we'll do is uh, I'll, I'll get it in the garage. There you go. There's a good shot of it. It's about what it does, and it usually gets it within the first two weeks of the th of the thing. The thing runs out of uh, gas at, at the th second week, a little after the second. Uh, actually, right at 21 days, this thing's out of fuel, and it shuts off. The light starts blinking. One thing I don't like about the design of it is that the fan, st everything stops. So if the fan kept circulating, it could pop positive pressure on whatever mosquitoes were in there. Because uh, when it dies and the fan shuts off, then, well... And then the mosquitoes can just escape back out the way they were. Went to the local price shop, a supermarket, and got a Amerigas tank for 20 bucks. And uh, so 20 bucks every uh, three weeks on the on, right on the button. And uh, do that, and it seems like the little attractant only is really potent after the first two weeks. It doesn't seem to collect as many on the third week. So now when I put, replace it. Even though it's it's uh, after the middle of summer now, so it's starting the uh, days are starting to shorten up. The uh, the attractant will be good for a couple weeks and then fizzle out. So I'm out of attractant after this uh, this boat, but uh, I'm pretty we're pretty happy with it. But it is pretty expensive to run, and uh, we'll see. We'll reassess it at the end of the season. Um, Any way you place it, it kills the gas on uh, the grass underneath it. Um, so I usually move it around so I got a bunch of dead spots instead of just one. So I don't know what's a better idea to do there. Um, but uh, so far, so good. It's doing exactly as advertised. Let me see what if I can after get the fix. The and after uh, successfully replacing the igniter with a torch, uh, we have some success, and the thing's finally blinking. We're out of we're out of fuel, so uh, we'll go over the procedure on how to restart it without a without a. Uh, All right, we're gonna get right to it while we have daylight here. Let's go. So this uh, ran out and, and it's broken. So what I've done is I've actually disassembled it. It was four screws and I tossed them right inside the cabinet here. So uh, so we're good to go. Uh, I'll show you how to light that. Um, we broke the uh, we broke the igniter. So here we gotta we gotta override that because I can't. It's impossible to find an igniter, and they won't uh, they won't send a new one. So. They want you to send the whole thing in. It's a minimum of 105 bucks. I voided the warranty and everything. So we're just gonna hook up the hook up the propane here, nice and tight. Okay. Put this in after. This is a fresh uh, fresh uh, mosquito basket. And now we'll put that after the covers back on. Here's a fresh new uh, octanol. Coming on the edge here. Gonna dig the other one out. There's the old one. Here's the new one. It's really strong smelling, and uh, in my review for it, I, I wrote that it lasts good for about two and a half weeks, but the third week it's rough. You can smell it right away. All right, so we're ready to go. So here's what I do. Let me make sure we're on camera here. Yep. So propane's on. I'm gonna turn it on. The fan starts. So this is the dangerous part, but we're gonna try it anyway. 
So here's the igniter. So what happens is a loop that comes out of here and it superheats and you know. I'm just gonna launch a fire right in there and wait for the uh wait for the light to go solid. You see it, it kind of last time it dipped out like it was gonna shut off and right there. I think that's when it dumps the gas. Mosquitoes are really coming around me now. Come on, just fire up. And I'm sweating, so that doesn't help. It's right inside there. There it is. It's lit. There you go, the light's red. So I just take this. Jam it back in the hole. I don't put the screw on or anything, I just, just fit it right in. Take the cover and I line up the slots with this. Drops right in. Take this, drop that in, make sure it's open, make sure it's snapped shut. That's it. I'll check it a few times and make sure the light's on in an hour or so, but that's it. Until the tank uh, propane runs out, we're good to go. Looks like about seven minutes. Awesome.